Hello, welcome, welcome, good night, and welcome. I see Robert is on and never called me again. Good night, Robert. How are you? I am glad you joined tonight. Need to see if there's anyone else on. If you come in, say hello, say hello. Say hello, let's see. Tonight is going to be a little informal. We're not going to really, um, let's see. As I maneuver to my screens here, the, yeah, I don't see anyone else in the chat. So I'll go ahead and get started. Glad to see you too, Robert. Glad to see you too. I am so good that you are here tonight. Let's see, I'm just trying to get situated because I got my camera doing kind of a doohickey up here. Well, hello, Kevin. Hi. I'm so glad you joined. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking it out. If you can hear me, please say, um, just give me like a number one, saying that you can see me good, you can hear me good, which I'm sure I should be really good, right? But um, just do that for me. I am looking everywhere because I'm trying to make sure that I acknowledge everyone that jumps on. Tonight is gonna be a little bit of an informal, it's chit chat, we're gonna talk, talk about how I started my YouTube channel, why I started it, also my equipments that I use, um, everything that I'm using, and um, I'll go over like a little, some tips and tricks, um, how to do certain things easier than, thank you, thank you, Robert, thank you. Robert gives me a number one, thank you. And if you notice, Robert, I have my comments popping up on my screen now, thanks to Mr. John at Coffee Talk and Tech. He um, hooked me up with that. So I'm able to see your comments now and pop them right into my screen. So we can, Kevin gave me number one as well. Thank you, Kevin. So we can, um, I can see you guys and you guys can see your comments as well. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. And um, welcome to Inspirational Connection TV where we share, talk about all the things that inspire, motivate, and builds confidence, okay? So if you're ever thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you don't know um, where to start, in this video tonight, I'm going to sh go over how I got started and share with you my equipment and setup, also some tips and tricks as well that you wanna know before you start your YouTube channel, okay? So stay tuned for that. And we'll go over that. All right, so thanks for watching ICTV Live. If you don't know who I am and we have never met before, and this is your first time here, I am Samantha of Inspired by Samantha Matthews Brand, and it is a lifestyle brand that promotes inspiration, motivation, encouragement, confidence, and love. So please drop a comment, like, and share this video. And also, if you would like to get more inspirational and motivational videos, consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss an upload or a live stream. Now, tonight is going to be a little different. I am going to just be doing some chit chat with everyone that jumps on because it is a live stream and I'm just gonna connect with you guys. Also, I have reached a goal of 350 subscribers, so I'm going to be throwing some confetti down for everyone. I'm going to be dropping a lot of confetti, so um be sure to stick around for for that we're definitely going to be dropping some confetti 
for you guys, okay? So stick around, we're gonna have a party tonight because I am super excited. I got to my 350 subscribers and that was one of my next goals, so we're waiting for the next one shortly, okay? Which will be at 500, that's halfway to that thousand. So normally I always start my streams off with a positive word of affirmation, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into that, okay? Now, positive words are essential in our daily lives and using words of affirmation are powerful ways to command positivity into your life. And the word of affirmation for tonight is, and I'm just gonna go ahead into the jar and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull one out and we're going to read it. And if you have any questions, anyone that's on, just feel free to stop, jump in, throw your comments in and I will go ahead and acknowledge it. Thank you so much, Robert. Robert says, congratulations. Thanks, Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out an affirmation. And we're going to read it tonight. And tonight's affirmation is, I am generous. I am generous. And talk about being generous. Today I, I helped um, a young lady with her channel. She needed to put up a, um, a banner. And she had someone did it for her, her banner art, but she was not able to get it up there correctly. And I was able to do that for her today. And that was very generous of me, kind um, of me to do that. So I am generous and I will continue to be that way, right? Okay, so what you wanna do is look yourself in the mirror and you wanna tell yourself um, that I am generous, I am kind, I am um, given, right? You wanna speak with power and command it throughout your day. Now, this product is very unique in that it encourages and it builds confidence, okay? And that's what you'll get when you use words of affirmation daily, okay? So be sure to stick around for more videos, um, with for more inspirational products that was available to you at the end of um, this stream, okay? So let's get straight right in to how I started my YouTube channel journey and give you some tips and tricks on how you can get started too okay all right so how i got started um first thing when i started youtube um i didn't start youtube right away i started doing facebook lives i do have a um a brand that i do like inspirational t-shirts and i um i do inspirational t-shirts and I go on Facebook and I was showcasing a lot of my t-shirts and someone said, um, you know, why don't you try to do a YouTube channel? Now I've always watched YouTube channel over the years and I always know oh, that's cool, that's neat. I wish I could do that, but um, I'm not a person that likes to talk in front of cameras. It may seem strange to some of you, but it's, yeah, I am literally nervous every time I come on to do my stream. So I decided to try and of course um, I, um, I started it and it worked out great on um, YouTube at first. However, when I started, I had like, my setup was nothing like what you see here. Hey, John. Oh, I got something for you, John. John just came in and we have got, we have got, 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 got to show you this. Hey, John, look at that. Do you see that, John? Do you see that? Um, thank you so much. I was telling Robert about it. Um, I did get it going. I did get it. Yes, I did. I fixed it. I have it set up to come in different places in different, um, scenes. So yes, um, I am so grateful for that. I am so grateful that you helped me with that. Um, so, um, while I was doing it, while I was doing it, I, um, I started and then I had like a really different setup. Thanks, John. Different setup, I had like a green background. If you watch some of my older videos, I had like this green background and I was standing at first. And um, I remember one day when I was, each time I come out to do my setup, I would have to move everything. I would have to put um, a chair, a table, I have to move it and put it back. And one day I was, you know, rearranging it, trying to get it perfect. And I had my son, my one-year-old son um, with me and somehow I was walking by and my ring lights, my microphone, my camera was on one tripod and the entire thing fell down. The entire thing fell and shattered. Um, 
I had a teleprompter on there as well that shattered, my microphone broke, everything just went haywire. And I sat down, I was like, oh my gosh, should I continue? Cause I'm like, okay, seriously, like this is, you know, a lot to start over. But I knew that I wasn't in a good setup because I had to move everything. So it wasn't in a good position. So I had to reconstruct everything and do it over. And I decided to start, um, all right, I will see you soon, John. I will see you soon. Thanks for stopping by and and seeing your good your work, right? You helped me so good. John, she's I do have confetti. Let me give John some confetti. Hold on. Let's give John some confetti. We definitely look at that, John. <laughs> and that is from John too. John was the one that helped me with that confetti as well. I saw it on his stream and I was like, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. So thanks, John. So um, let's go back into here. So then I decided to start over and redo um, and redo my my setup. So I started off by just starting over. I got a new camera, of course, and I had to get a new microphone. Um, I started over a little bit by bit. So I'm gonna go through all of my equipment that I have and let everyone know that anyone is possible to have a YouTube channel. It's possible. There's different things that you can do. There are setups that you can do that is simple. I'm in a corner, like a little section in my living area and I was able to get all these things fit into that space. So I'm gonna go through each of that with you and inspire you to start. Um, do not be afraid to start. Do not think that no one's not going to listen to what you have to say or whatever you're doing. Maybe a video. It may be um, just something funny. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Robert, for stopping by. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys later. I'm sure I'll be on Thursday. And if there's any other streams between now and Thursday, I'll be on those too. So thank you guys for stopping by. Have a great, great night, okay? So I decided to, um, so just to let you guys know that you too can do it. Because where I started from to where I'm at today, four months, tomorrow will be four months I've been doing YouTube. I started my channel, literally signed up February 9th. Um, I started my channel. So um, it's been four, it'll be four months tomorrow and anyone can do it. Okay, so it was just based off of suggestion. Someone suggested to me, why don't you start YouTube? And I was like, hmm. My face on camera like that? No, can't do it. Mm -mm, no, but here I am. Here I am. So if you ever feel like you're not able to do it, you're not qualified for it, sis, hun, no, let's go. Put a comment down in my inbox. I will help you. If I have to do, a, do your banner for you, I'll do it. If I have to help you get started, trust me, I will do it for you. Okay, so we're gonna go right into it. So we're gonna start off with my marketing design. Now, that is like my go-to. First of all, you have to make sure that you know your colors. What colors are you gonna do? Okay, you're gonna do pink, purple, blue, yellow, green, white, yellow, black, whatever. Pick your colors. Um, start off with a great design. Um, I love pink if you haven't noticed by now, right? Yeah, if you haven't noticed, pink is my favorite color. Um, this is just uh, juice, guys. I'm sure it's just juice, okay? Mm -hmm. Really good juice, too. Pink is my favorite color. Everything has to be pink for me. So if you notice my, um, let's see, my Inspirational Connection TV, that is my channel name, and that's right there. Um, it's pink and black, pink, black, and white. And over here on this side, I always put up my um, my topics for the night. So if I'm doing whatever the topic is, I put that up. All of these things, and notice that they're all pink, black, and white. On my thumbnails, I do the same thing. I have pink, black, and white because that are my colors. Now, how I design everything that I have is in Canva. I use Canva, which is the free version which is the free, free version. I use Canva to build everything. If it's not on Canva, it comes from Google or I design it in Photoshop, then I put it into Canva. Um, but most of everything that I use, all of my things that I have on here, 
and I will show you guys something really quick. Most of everything that I have is on, excuse me, on Canva. So I have hearts, um, which of course the hearts is gonna go up first, right? Um, confetti, I have a happy heart, dancing girl, all of these things I build in Canva and you can do all of that as well. So just so before I move on, right before i move on hopefully i'm everything i built in canva just so you guys know um before i move on let's just show you a little doohickey so that subscribe button is also built in canva everything i use in canva the remove um the next thing that i use is remove bg that um is an app that i use as well to um to remove all my backgrounds so a lot of images that i use and i pull in is by using um remove bg to remove the background and the google of course and all my elements that i add in like my confetti and all of that i use all of that um in canva everything i bring in through canva remove the backgrounds and things like that and then also into the software that i use now onto my software so my software that I'm using is, um, I have an Apple laptop, which um, recently got it, like maybe, actually four months, probably around four months when I started, uh, maybe three months, because I was using my older one before, it was giving me a lot of problems, so I upgraded to a new one. I do have an Apple laptop. And then the software that I use to stream with is OBS Studios, which is the open broadcaster software. It's easy and it's um, free to use as well. Now with OBS, it is a learning curve to it, but it is, it's, it's, to me, it's simple. I have not recorded in it yet, but I've always just done my stream and just uploaded straight to YouTube. So for people that are worried about, um, you know, doing the editing and all of that stuff, um, I do, I just stream it straight through. And then I upload. Sometimes I have to go in there and cut out a piece and, and stuff like that when I'm in YouTube. But I find that if I stream it straight and everything is good, I just leave it the way it is. So you guys might see some glitch, but hey, the content is great, right? So that's the software that I use. And um, so it's Canva um, for design so far. It's Canva, Remove BG is a go-to and it's all free. And I use free stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I use all that's free. Um, I may pay for, no, I don't think I paid for anything just yet. No, I don't think I did, sorry. Everything is free. Um, and then I just use OBS to put everything. So whatever you see running across my screen, everything you see on the screen, I build in Canva and pull it over into, um, and pull it over into OBS, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the camera, which is the most important. You want to make sure that you have a really good camera, but also um, you don't have to always get the expensive one. When I first started, I had a camera, which was a $100 camcorder from Amazon. That's what I used when I first started and the one that fell and broke. Um, I used it from Amazon and it was um, a small camcorder. I have like a little open um, ear where you can see yourself as well. Um, but that's what I used at first. Now it worked great. I don't think I had any issues because I'm not really that into that stuff. So I don't really know if it looked bad or good. However, I, um, however, I was using that first and then it broke. So that was the first thing. So you don't have to get a most expensive camera because that, that doesn't really, um, I'm not gonna say make a difference, it will, but when you're starting out, when you are starting out, you don't have to have such a expensive camera. What I'm using now is the Mark, um, is the M50 Mark II um, with the kit lens as well. I only have the kit um, lens, which eventually I would like to get blurred background. Um, I'll work on that later on. So I'll get the 1.8 lens to get that background. But as of right now, I feel like I'm okay with what I have. So I did not yet get that one. But I'm using an M50 Mark II. And, um, and that will be an upgrade for me later on. Okay, so that's a camera that I'm using. And all I do, I have a, um, I do have it on a 
the continuous charger. I do have it on the charger. All these thing links as well are listed in my description. So if anyone wants to look it up or find out where I get it, they're also in the description as well. A link to my Amazon and it is affiliate. So if you would like to purchase something that I'm using, you can also use my affiliate link as well. I'll get a small commission off of that. So that'd be great too. You should check that out. And I have it on a... Um, a charger because you know the m50 comes with the battery thing but i do have the continuous charger so it's always plugged in and then i have it hooked up via usb to my um to my laptop that is how i use my camera um to the usb port here i do not use the hdmi i use the usb a lot of people are saying you some people are saying youtubers are saying that you can get the hdmi but i didn't use it i don't need a capture card or anything like that i use it straight get the camera get the plug um i'm gonna give you the name of it once i remember it get that plug plug it straight into my laptop or into the jack you know because the newer laptops apples have the the port that you have to use so i plug it to there and i'm good to go okay so that's the m50 mark ii now for my microphone i'm using the blue yeti and I remember getting a Blue Yeti because someone recommended it to me as well. I have a friend that worked at Best Buy and um, I went there and that was one that was recommended and I bought it. Um, I believe my mother bought me that. Yes, my mom got me the Blue Yeti. Um, that was a gift from my mother. The Blue Yeti that I'm using um, was a gift from my mom. It's the, I have the black one and it works great. I don't know if it works bad because I, I don't know nothing about mics. I, I know what I know to know now to do this YouTube channel. So um, it works great. You don't have to get a Blue Yeti though. All of the, the guys that I, um, that's in the community that I'm with, they use a lot of different mics that are like $100 and stuff like that. And it works great. So, but my mom got me a really good one, right? She did that. So that's why I have the Blue Yeti guys, okay? But there's so much other mics out there. The Blue Yeti is like in the, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a bit pricey. It's, yeah, it's a bit pricey. But um, it's on, the link is there as well on YouTube. You can get it at Best Buy as well. You can get it anywhere right now. But it's a really good mic. I set it up once. I followed someone on YouTube, watched it. I put the link. I set it up, turned it to one setting, and I haven't touched it since. And I think it sound great, guys. If I don't, you know, you can comment and say, Sam, we can't hear you. But I think it's good. So that's the mic that I use. Now onto my lighting, which is the, the, the my favorite part, because really I love pink. So if everything is pink, I'm good. So I have the Yes, the Yes Cur ring light from Amazon. And all of these links are also in the description. The Yes Cur link, the ring light, it is the 18 inch, is the 18 inch round one. And the, the good thing I like about the one I have, it has three um shoe parts where you can put in three different devices you can put like a cell phone an ipad a camera and how i had it at first i had my um ipad and a mini ipad and i had uh the camera there as well as a camcorder so it has three shoe holes and that was really good for me and then the microphone is also on that stand and um but it fell and broke maybe it was too heavy guys i don't know but um, that's the ring light that I'm using. It's right in front of me right here. So um, I'm gonna get, tell you all my setup. I wish I could show you guys pictures. I should have a second camera, right? So you guys can see. But the camera, the ring light is right here. And then the camera's of course right in front of me right here. And on the ring light, the blue Yeti's on the ring light. And I have a mini iPad there. And then the camera's right next to it on its own tripod. That's the ring light. And then I have, the Luminous Studio um, Umbrella Light. I have two of them. I have one in front of me above at the top right here. And then I have one right here behind, behind right here. It's a, there's one right here, the soft light right here. I have two umbrella lights. And then I have a third one that is right in front of me down here. And that is the kit light from Amazon. It's the Lumi, um, Limo, Limo Studio Soft Umbrella Light. That's the light I'm using. And then I have um, the Fairy Curtain Lights. Now, I got this on Amazon. I have a pink one and I have a white one. I had originally gotten the white one first. And then when I got it, I was like, hmm, I think I want more pink. 
I want more pink. So I have right next to me here, I have the white one um, behind the curtains, like a really nice curtain thing I have kind of created right here. Um, I have the white one here. And then behind me, you can see the pink one through my divider. We'll talk about that later. It's um, right here behind the, let me scoot back a little bit, you guys can see. So it's right here behind the divider wall. I literally had to drape it on the back of the the um, divider wall and like hook the little pins on it so I can separate it. So that's what's back there. So that is the pink light. And then I also have two of the HGX um, 75 watt, um, 75 watt um, PVC clamp light as well. I also have that as well. Okay. And then, um, so that's at the bottom. And I, what I got was two of the pink lights, pink light bulbs to go in. So it shoots up at the bottom. You can't really see it. But there are two of them on either side of my little table that's behind me. And it just shoots up at the bottom. Okay. And then for my backdrop, I just have a wall divider that I got it at Hobby Lobby. Black and white Chinese wall divider was on sale. Um, then I have a little entry table as well that's behind me where I keep some of my I keep some of my things as well. That's on this little table here. And all of the things that I use when I come out, um, sometimes they're in here or on top of that. And then I also have the orchid plant, which I got at Burlington. Girl, everything's on sale. Everything I bought was on sale. Um, and then the green plant, it's a green plant, right? You need trees, you need some type of greenery in the background. This is a nice balanced look. And then um, I got that at Michael's. That was on sale as well from Michael's. And then my extras now that I must have for me, I started out without them and I realized that I needed a little bit more help because streaming is not easy. Um, It's a little bit easier when you record and upload it, but I do live stream straight through. So I have to go to different scenes. So I got a lot of extra things to help me. The first thing was my teleprompter. I have a teleprompter that is right in front of me. It's attached to my camera. It sits right on my camera. My phone goes in the slot and it sits right there. And I have bullet points as to what I'm gonna say. So I have like little bullets with a list of like, you know, I'll say extras and then I have a list and then I talk about it. So that's basically what I normally do on my teleprompter to be able to keep me focused. Cause like I said, guys, I'm not good on camera. I'm not good on camera. I say some foolishness sometimes. But however, I still continue to go because this is something that I will, I will like to continue to do. So I got a teleprompter so I can keep my words in front of my face so I don't forget them. So that's what I use. It's the Desi, it's a Desiview T2 teleprompter from Amazon as well, and it's great. Um, I do also have a remote control that I use to work with it as well, so I can go up and down, I can go fast or slow, I can stop, pause. Um, I also have another app that I can use, so when I speak, if I say a word, if I stop and I start rambling off something else, it pauses until I, um, I go back to what's on the teleprompter. And that's a number one must have for me. Maybe everyone else can be able to, you're able to speak without um, forgetting what you have to say, but I have to remember that. The next thing I have is the Elgato Stream Deck. And this was something that I thought about getting um, over and over and over, but I said, no, 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 no. And I said, okay, okay, okay. I said, no, 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 no. I tried everything else. I tried um, watching videos where people told you how you can do like the, um, the shift key something like that where you can just press a button on here and things happen and i was like no it's not working for me so i went ahead and i got the and i have the extra large one and it sits right here next to me on my um next to my laptop and i can easily easily press a button a literal button and things just happen guys um things just happen i press a button and things just things just go things just happen everywhere I don't, I don't know how it happens, but things fall out of the sky. 
then if you go, you can press different buttons and, you know, you can sign up. Just find me pressing a nice button. And I absolutely, I absolutely love it because it's easier for me to use than for me to have to be going through my, um, my screens, my scenes to pick and to find everything. So I try to do that and it works great for me, okay? So the next thing I use is a, um, the 22 inch monitor insignia um, TV monitor. And I literally have it right here underneath my umbrella light and that helps me to see things a little bit more clearly um, and bigger as well instead of looking down on my laptop. Um, I do look down a lot as well, but like tonight is very informal, so I'm doing a lot of moving around. But I do have a really nice um, Insigna computer screen. Well, it's a TV monitor. I believe it is a TV monitor. That's right here. So I'm able to do have dual screens as well, which thanks to John Ryan at Coffee Talk and Tech, um, I was able to get... I figured out how to do that. I knew how to do it before, but I just wasn't sure, but he told me that's the best option to be able to do the pop-up for the comments, so I did that. And I was able to get that up there. So that's another extra that I have, which is needed, because when you don't wanna look down, you can always see everything right here on the screen. And if you also need a longer screen as well, you can have, you know, you can split your, your monitors. And then the next thing that I have that's extra, which I don't know if it was working so far, but I have it. It's the Stedman Pro Screen Extra Large Pop Filter. And it prevents you from like when you see a lot of P words, like it doesn't really come out. Um, it blocks all of that. So I have that as well as an extra, extra gadget, I would say. And then the other thing is... Um, um, when you start a new YouTube channel, you want to make sure that you have a good community. You get involved with some type of community that is doing, whether they're in your niche or not, they may be um, like, you know, whatever you're talking about, they may be in, in that area, or you may need to learn something. Like for me, I didn't know anything about um, streaming or anything like that. So I had to watch a lot of people. And while I was doing that, I met a lot of people and I became a part of their community. And the first person that I, um, that I started watching a lot was John Ryan at Coffee Talk and Tech. I remember one night I was just scrolling through YouTube and he popped on and he was doing um, a live stream. And I was saying, well, let me jump on and see what he's talking about. And I went in and I was there for like maybe an hour. And we talked and we introduced ourselves and there was a lot of people coming in and we talked and then we just started each time, every time there was a live stream, we would, you know, support each other. And then I've met so many people just by going into his streams. You want to make sure, and I learn a lot too, you want to make sure that you get involved with other communities. Ashley um, at Consistent Ash, she's another good um, person that I've met as well through John. I'm just going through the live stream. And we connect and we share a lot of things as well. We, we go on each other's streams and we support each other. So that's one thing that's really good that you need to try to do when you are starting a YouTube channel is to get involved with some type of community of other YouTubers and support them because you're going to need that support as well. There's Sammy Superstar. I love Sammy. I call him Sammy My Superstar. Um, really nice kid that started his channel and he's doing so amazing. Um, Robert, um, never call me again. He was on my stream tonight. So John was on as well earlier. There are people that, um, check their stream out, um, check their YouTube channel out as well. You will learn so much by watching them, by listening to them as well. If it's something that you would like to do. Um, there's a few of the channel that I have learned a lot from, um, there is Michael Ferrer Jr. He's great. I learned so much from him. He is absolutely great. And then also Think Media. Um, Think Media. Um, Heather Torres. Um, she's wonderful. I was able to get on one of their um, seven-day seven training two weeks ago. That was phenomenal. Um, it was awesome to be a part of that. So you want to get into those things. Um, and and um learn learn from them if you're starting out this channel so just to give a little bit of inspiration because i always try to inspire um that is my thing to inspire and motivate everyone that is 
around me or is listening to me, you can do anything that you want to do once you put your mind to it. There's nothing that you cannot do. Um, when I started this channel, I knew nothing about half of what I'm doing. The only thing I knew I did know about, and I can tell you that I knew how to, I knew computers. I knew how to work work a computer very well. I knew how to maneuver around a computer. That is something that is inside of me. I knew how to design stuff. I know how to work um, really well with um, desktop publishing. I did desktop publishing for years. So I had those things already under my belt. That was the only two things I knew. I knew computers and I knew how to design on a computer. I knew how to do it, just that stuff. But all the other technical things, like you're talking about um, upload speed, download speed, um, things of streaming, you have to figure out audio output, capture device, all those things. Oh, no, they, those went over my head a little bit. I'm not going to say a lot, but they went over my head a little bit. I had to relearn a lot of things and I had to kind of stop and say, what is this? But I checked out YouTube channel and I watched them over and over. And because of that, I was able to get it. So I want to encourage anyone tonight. I have a few ladies that have reached out to me and I've asked for me to help them with their channel. And I'm willing. I've helped a few people already and I'm willing to help anyone else that wants to to start a channel and don't know how to start a channel, want to have a channel up and wants to upload videos, do not know how to or where to start. I am willing to do all of that. So leave a comment if you watch this this um, live stream. Like I said, tonight was very informal. I had a few people on, just wanted to chit chat with you guys and answer some questions. Um, if there's any um, burning questions that you guys would like to get answered, and I have the answers because I don't, I don't know everything, but I know a little bit. As far as I'm at right now, I have um, 350, let's see. I have 355 subscribers 355 subscribers right now so i think we're gonna drop some confetti for that we'll definitely drop some confetti for that and we're gonna give some applause to <laughs> i think i did very well for four months tomorrow four months and 350 i'm excited can you tell I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So um, it's possible, anyone can do it, okay? Anyone can do it. You can do it, um, whether you think you know anything about computers or not, whether you think you know anything about design or not, Canva is free, it is so free. You can do anything in Canva um, when it comes to design, um, looking professional, you can choose your color scheme and you can stick with those color schemes. There's nothing um, that you have to um, fight with when you get into Canva. There is a paid version which gives you more things to do, but um, I find that as a designer already, I don't need to pay for it since I know how to work around. I also have, um, um, now it's gonna miss me, Photoshop. So I can go into Photoshop and do whatever I need to do in Photoshop as well. So the free version works. The free version works as well. So just encourage you, please continue to um, do your research, ask questions, talk with people that's doing it. Talk with people that's also, um, that also have a channel that is um, doing it as well and get information from them before you start. But it's nothing um, hard to do. It's pretty easy and it's fun. I love doing it. I just started and I like it. I like coming in and um, doing fun things. And as a matter of fact, let's see. You look at that. I love doing stuff like this. And what you can do for me is give me some likes as well. Um, let's go back. I think. That's an all kind of likes are right here. Mm -mm. I got some thumbs up and I got some hearts coming up too and I like doing fun stuff like that because it's it's nice um it's unique and it's different so thank you all so much for everyone that came on I had John on Kevin on Robert on tonight 
and I am um, excited that I made my goal and I was able to share how I started, why I started, and the things that I use as well. So if there's any questions, I have all my links in the description below. So if you would like to check out any of my equipment, um, they're also there as well. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching and do not forget to leave a comment um, or an inspiration in the section below or a list of topics you would like for me to talk about. And if you found value in what I have said in this, um, this video tonight, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will not miss an upload or a live stream. And for more inspirational and motivational videos, check out my other videos on the screen and see you in the next trip. And remember, if you can't do great things, do great things in a small way. Have a good night. Bye.